Good evening and welcome to another episode of The Coach's Box. Ray Halbrook with Livestream SDL here. Hope everybody's having a little bit of a warm evening here and uh, trying to stay warm at least. And uh, calling this episode the Extended Snow Day. And we have uh, the boys here. Guys, how are we doing tonight? Doing well. Doing, doing well. well. Doing well, doing well. And... Um, we're all sharing and, and liking and sharing. Yes, thank the, you. The show that. tonight. So if you're uh, watching already, like and share it. Uh, share it all over your Facebook mm-hmm. and let people know. And yep. we'd love to have a, a big showing tonight of uh, tuning into our, you know, snow day extended show. <laughs> McVeigh, you've been on a snow day for like two weeks. I can either confirm nor deny. <laughs> said. I mean, it's public knowledge. Oh, is it? Yeah, you're going oh, okay. to yeah, public it's school. Been a, oh, yeah. Duh. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are going to forget who you are. Yeah, exactly. What class is this? What, what's our, yeah. yeah that, what is that? That year I did at Potosi, 23 yeah. in a row. Snow days. Yeah. Consecutive? Oh. <coughs> uh, I don't remember how many in a row it was, but it was that a might lot. Have, that might have been that ice that year at Granby when we missed a boatload because of ice. Yeah. yeah. What's what's the most that, that, you, was that you guys have missed in a row? In a row, probably this two weeks. Really? Yeah, I think something. When, like when that. I worked at Sturgeon and they had that big ice storm, and I think it was somewhere between, I think it was 2000, 2011, mm-hmm. it was in February. Mm-hmm. There was two and a half weeks of no school, and it was a foot of snow <laughs> on top of I'm ice. I'm telling you, it was. <laughs> That would be it, it was way more than any of this. It like doubled it because wow. the, I know at one point they were digging it out, and up there and you know in the rolling hills. The wind blows so much uh-huh. that the, the the road that came into town, there was another road that went out. They couldn't keep the road c- cleared because the snow would blow back on. Uh-huh. And it, there was snow dunes that were about this tall. <laughs> and you would lose your car. There's cars that were just covered. Covered. Wow. Covered in snow. It was the craziest thing. And the first thing I asked when they said, you have any questions? When I did the interview, it was like, you guys get any weather up here? Is it snow? <laughs> like, ah, oh, we don't get that much. Uh-huh. And it snowed a lot. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. School's lie. <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it might have been 20. It was like it was, 17 it was, or something. Like. It was crazy. That is a lot. That's, that that is, is a lot of missed time, no <laughs> doubt. It hurts the education of the kids. We make it up. I, well, I remember it's the one year. In the classroom. Yeah, <laughs> it's a virtual now. I remember. <laughs> I remember going to June. The one year we went to we went to June when I was working out of Grandview, yeah. and and I, you know I mean we started later. It was one of those. Maybe it was one of those years where everything got shifted back a week. Yeah. And we had so many snow days, we wound up going to June. Uh, calendar changed after that. We, we yeah. Go. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I think I was working there yeah, that time. Yeah, yeah. You know what it's like. It's awful. <laughs> but, you know, you, you do what you got to do. I mean, hey. you know, if, if I'm an administrator, I'm not, I'm not putting buses no, out there and have, no. you know, Cindy Lou who go ahead and sue me because the mm, bus went off the road. No. And, that, and that's, a, that. that's a darn if you do, darn if you don't situation yeah, I mean, for oh, admin. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead. Just say, yeah. we're not going to have it. Now well, you got virtual days I anyway. Say, so. that, yeah, that takes care of it right yeah, now. Yeah, pretty much. E- e-learning. It's like, hey, guys, look. All right, so Google Classroom. See ya. <laughs> AMI. <laughs> what does AMI even stand for again? Alternate know. method oh, instruction, sure. maybe? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, well, just, I've seen it so much. <laughs> is that what it is, Jason? Sure. <laughs> so you guys are utilizing the AMI exactly. class. We were. I just knew that I had to teach. I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got me on the computer. And so I filmed myself and posted my notes today. And yeah. that's always you made good. a video of yourself. <laughs> sure did. Live. Today class. <laughs> today. Hey, Does anybody yeah. have any questions? Yeah, use your hands. Exactly. Okay. If Move I, on. If they had questions, I was uh, – Available via Zoom wow. or, or Google Meet. Yep. Man. <laughs> well, technology I mean, I guru. must have taught it so well. Didn't matter. They, they, how many questions do <laughs> you have? Nah, I, I, Is I, this over yet? I Is exchanged he done several, I exchanged several uh, emails today. That's good. <laughs> Anybody ever raise their hand or talk on the screen and be like, I got a question? Oh, like, oh. It was a video playing. It wasn't oh. like a oh, oh, it wasn't live? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. I didn't do live. <laughs> oh, we okay. could have. And I know we'll do it live. We'll I know, do it. <laughs> I know that some teachers did, but I, I elected to just uh-uh. pre-record mine and put yeah. it up. Yep. Crazy. A little flipped classroom. A little action. flipped. Yeah. Yeah. There, there you go. Right, there you go. Yeah, look at you. Uh, you know, yeah, I, we care about our education at Herky. I promise. <laughs> well, we actually do ours live. Uh, that's cool. Well, like I said, we could have done it live. <laughs> some but, teachers uh, did. 
I, there you yeah, go. A lot of teachers did. I just some did, people recorded mine. Didn't. Yep. <laughs> no big deal. Make them less of a teacher? No, not at all. Huh. Sounds like it's you know pretty innovative. Yeah. We were encouraged to do flip classrooms. We worked we, at Grandview. We were. Did you we ever were. do one? I think we. I think we did. We he, set it up <laughs> like this. He did. Like, yeah. <laughs> I got your flip classroom right here. <laughs> I think that was a workshop too. Like I, I'll flip <laughs> something. <laughs> uh. And scene <laughs> cut. <laughs> no. No. It's just, uh. I, I mean, it's been good. Outside of this, like, sinus infection I've gotten, yeah. I mean, it's, it's been nice. <laughs> I, look, I've already had the, the Rona. I know. You gave it to me. You <laughs> gave it to me. <laughs> yes. What happens when we do the show? I go, oh. and offer it. I go scout a game over in Pius. Next thing I know, Rona. <laughs> I, we let him come into the gym. <laughs> That's and what happens. Rona. Just oh, yeah. like that. Well, so I've got 45 so days nas- of immunity. So on the national scene, what's going on on the national scene? <laughs> so the Cardinals, the yeah. pitchers and catchers reported today. Hey. Big day. <laughs> Did you see Arenado's got his, uh, he's already down there doing batting practice. Is it good? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what you want. That's what a leader mm-hmm. does. That's mm-hmm. right. I, I, I'm really excited about yeah. you know, him being a Cardinal. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. not nearly as excited about Tatis Jr. getting 14 14- 14-year, $340 million deal That's that just insane. came, awesome came down for 30 him, minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Good for him. Mm-hmm. I'm, Good yeah, I'm really glad the Cardinals, you know, scout him 16 times only to let the Padres get him. And Dad's like, please sign my son. Please sign. No, he's too tall and too skinny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because that's – you want the short, stubby mm-hmm. baseball players. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The launch angle's better, right? We got a lot <laughs> Something of those. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, you're the baseball guy. I just, <laughs> launch angle, yeah. yeah. Kids talk about launch angle like, shut up. Uh, yeah, exactly. Put the bat on the ball. <laughs> you can't even Put hit the, the ball. <laughs> Put the bat on the ball. <laughs> hit it, with hit the it out of the racket. infield first. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I mean, uh. it's, it's exciting stuff. And see what the Cardinals are going to be like this year. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm a Cardinal fan. Mm-hmm. And are you? You're a Cardinal fan, aren't you? Absolutely. You're mm-hmm. from Illinois, so I didn't know yeah, if you're Southern a Illinois. Fan. Yeah, no, know. Southern no, Illinois. We're all Wait, Kentucky doesn't have a baseball team. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, At least bro. you guys make the baseball bats. Here, yeah, we do. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's fun. Hey, do. that's a fun like, place. He's, he's, like he's, like he's, he's from Kentucky. <laughs> See, you're learning, Jarvis. You're learning. <laughs> you are from Benton, Illinois. <laughs> Yes, I am. Uh, that is not Kentucky. Home of the Rangers. Nice. Home of the Rangers. How many home, times have I heard that? Home of the Rangers. Uh, Rangers. Home on the range. Man, I, I it is home start, on the range. I need to start pulling up some more pictures. Come on, Donna Blair, post some. <laughs> She's got plenty, trust that me. Wonderful hat of his. It's good stuff. That was good. <sighs> One of my favorites. So, uh, you, you had, we had shared that little picture. I think it was, uh, was it uh, Arch Media who put the projections out? Mm-hmm. Arch City Media? Arch it was City somebody, Media, that's yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, good friends of ours. Here. Yeah, they they uh, what, what they project the Cardinals at 90, 95. 95. 95. 95 wins. That's man. that's a lot. I don't that's know. a lot of wins, which I, that's fine. I, I mean, mean, I'll take it. Uh, you know, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, here. Just, yeah. So they got really prepared. Got, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, ninety. So they had ninety. 90. Okay. Yeah. So St. Louis predicted to go ninety and seventy-two. Milwaukee. Uh, 83, 79, Chicago, 82 and 80, Cincinnati, 79, 79. yep, 79 wins, and then Pittsburgh, 57. 57. That rounds out the uh, Central Division. So they have us ranked the best, the mm-hmm. worst division. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. It's actually right there. They have oh, they predicting right there. predicting the Dodgers 105 wins. Wow. Well, I mean, they're they're kind of good. I know. I mean, well, best, it happens when you spend money. Best team you have money, money can buy. Well, well that's kind of. I mean, my old man. That's. That's why you mm-hmm. like the Yankees. Hey, pinstripes, right? Go spend the money. <laughs> uh, that's what you got to do in baseball. Go buy, a, buy the best players you can. Hey, it's Draft business. what you can. Why not? Why, why, why not? not? Why not? True. If you, hey, if you, can't, if you can't afford to have a baseball team and spend money, don't have a baseball team like the, like yeah. the Oakland A's. Right. You mean the wallet? <laughs> Duh, I can't wallet. say anything right now. I mean, we at least out and got Arenado for basically a bag of balls. Right. I mean, come on. Well, I know. How, about, I mean, how about the old, how about the old arbitration with with oh, Flaherty? Oh man, three nine three zero. It's peanuts. You know what I mean? That's a that's a game. That's the first that's a one home that, game. That's the first that one they've arguing lost. About. Yeah, first arbitration case the Cardinals lost since what ninety six. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Hey, did you see Flaherty's yeah, comments? Was, yeah, yeah. Flaherty goes on meme. Twitter. And has one of those uh, Michael Jordan mm-hmm. um, memes. And I, and I took that personally. Uh, so I missed it. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we're going to sign him mm. long term, probably. Not now. 
for no. sure. I mean, if you listen to 101, Brad Thompson talks about when they when you go to arbitration, their job is basically to tell you to compare you to everybody else mm-hmm. and try not to give you a raise. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what you sign up for if you agree to go to arbitration. So, right. I mean, I don't really think going on Twitter is the best way to handle it. Uh, just to get to the people trolling, well, and that's stirring this, the pot. That's this day and age. Yeah, oh, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's this day but, and age. I mean, it's it's the business part of it. And if I'm a baseball team, nine hundred thousand dollars is still nine hundred thousand dollars. Right. If I don't want to spend it, mm-hmm. then I don't want to spend it. It's true. And if I want to sign sign long term, then I offer them long term. It's it's really their their thing. They have player control for six years. Mm-hmm. Before they get to go to free agency, mm-hmm. and that's why that starting the clock on Carlson mm-hmm. was so important, mm-hmm. and those other guys. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, I would love for the wallet and the rest of his cronies to, to spend more money. Mm-hmm. But if he doesn't want to pay, pay Flaherty now, I mean, he's either going to pay him later. No, he's not. Or yeah, that's he's the thing. going to walk. Well, he'll pay for it in some some regard. We get a draft pick, compensation draft pick. Mm-hmm. True. Yay. I'd rather, I'd rather have sandwich a sandwich pick. Yeah, I'd rather have a dominant, <laughs> dominant ace for another 10, 12 years after. Well, it, it, but coming off of the season where he had, what, a 4.95 ERA or something, I can see where they're a little hesitant to just say, okay, hey, mm-hmm. we so want to be it. sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just now found it? All right. Dude. He was flipping his classroom. That's okay. <laughs> That's right, buddy. <laughs> I was listening to plans already. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I was worried about educating the minds of the future. Uh. <laughs> All right. I, it just got but, deep in here. Well, but I, I, you know, I I go back to once again, and and we as fans, we can talk about uh, it's not our money, and we can spend it however we want to. And I get it that it's a business, but you've got to spend money to make money, and you're in the entertainment business. And and I, I, I've, we've said it, we've talked about, it, I'll continue to say it as long as we have the show. And we talk about the Cardinals. If they're not going to put that product that we as fans want on the on the field, then we don't need to spend our money. Yeah. And then they can find out another another avenue to come up with the nine hundred thousand dollars. I mean, that's hey, I'm glad you could join us. <laughs> hey, thanks for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Maybe be part of the show. Oh, he was gone. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, you were over there flipping. <laughs> you were flipping it. Flipping through memes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But I, I mean, they're they're. I gonna... come over a stat thirty to eight. But anyway, go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> Has nothing to do with Perry County. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bruce. But, uh, you know we, oh. we we don't want to tell you that we love you down there in Perry County. Yep, uh, thirty to eight. He, he had to give me a little twenty-one to five. And hey, wait. So thirty and eight, <laughs> twenty-one to five. That is Hold fifty-one. On. Oh boy. Oh my oh, God. God. <laughs> fifty-one to thirteen. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Did you expect anything less? Nope. <laughs> I mean, it, how many years now? I had uh, to give him a hard way to. He was giving us hard way to go Saturday down there. Yep. So that's why I'm definitely going to give he him said, a hard way to go. <laughs> he said, don't don't give us a little bit of love down here in Perry County. You guys talk bad about us all the time. Well, they do have Mary Jane's burgers, you know. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. some good Amazing stuff in Perry burgers. County. Oh Amazing. my goodness, yes. it's about the only reason why I go down there. But yeah. I mean, I like the Buckeyes <laughs> down there, but now you got one Herculaneum. So that's right. You don't need to go down there. <laughs> good stuff. Well, and you go down to Port of Call. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Go see our boy Dan Brooks, yeah. fan of the show. <laughs> yep. Very much so. Yeah. You ever been down there? Nope. Me neither. I need to go down there. <laughs> I was like, no, nope, I haven't been there. <laughs> it's a good place. Good place. It mm-hmm. is. I did my first year teaching there. Oh, Perry County. Well, Perry County. Oh, nice. You're one of them now, huh? You. That was in 2000, 2001. I ain't been back much. He <laughs> <laughs> wasn't allowed back here. <laughs> Once every two years. <laughs> anyway, you're from these Once parts. every two years, I head down there and football and basketball. <laughs> That's funny. It is what it is. Yeah, he, so Bruce said that he's watched our show the last couple of weeks. Bruce knows how to get on Facebook. Yeah, you can you <laughs> believe it? I know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so Bruce, I wanna... if you're watching, you need to post something. Yeah. Because I don't believe it. <laughs> I, I don't believe <laughs> Bruce is on Facebook. Hey, I don't know. Well, I don't on know Facebook. if he's on it, but someone is. Somebody, live. somebody logs somebody. on for him. Somebody's Probably. logged him in and, and let him watch, but he definitely uh, – because he knew exactly what we were talking about the last yeah, two weeks. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was bring, he's bringing it up. Yeah, That's okay. He did. Oh, I enjoyed it. I, I mean, it, it, again, it is what it is. After, I, had, I did tell him that when he was playing at our place. I said, we ain't playing, we ain't playing in, Perry, in Perry County, okay? <laughs> you, you can stop that right now. 
Looked right at him and said it. He called out Jarvis in front of us all yes, the other day, too. He's saying that. He said, yeah, Miller was talking about the fouls that, uh, at the game, and Jarvis wanted to step in and be like, well, that's what happens when you play in Perry County. Yeah, <laughs> because Miller's you said they were 21 to 5 or whatever. Something I don't like know. That. Something uh, like that. I mean, 58 to 2. I mean, it don't matter. Whatever. 92 to 17. No, it was 122 or well, something by see, the end well, of the year. By your home game. Jarvis, what are numbers anyway? <laughs> what are numbers? Numbers don't lie. <laughs> People don't. lie. Well, numbers don't. True statement. What are numbers? Like baseball numbers. <laughs> we got some posts wow, on here, too. you need to trim your woolly <laughs> <Hey>. boogie. What? <laughs> 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 you need to trim your woolly boogie. Woolly booger? Woolly booger. Woolly booger. Man, just... What do we need to know here? Uh, I have yeah. a, we have a Matt Shooty signing, uh, signing but, but before I post, post his post, we want to post up uh, how how nicely dressed they were Friday night. And, uh, you know, him and uh, Dan Boyer both come to the game. <laughs> Beautiful. And uh, his post here, can you all talk about Main Street Sports drinking game? What is that? What's that all about? Oh, That's no. what I want to okay. know. Okay. Matt Shooty told Matt? me that the, the new drinking game, Oh my God. For Main Street Sports, is every time you hear the word "kid," you take a drink. Mm. Kid. So how many times well, was they it? all kids? I have no idea. Kids? Well, he's had two shows back to back in the uh, last few days. Matt, so why don't you go ahead and just tell us how many times you counted "kid," <laughs> and we will confirm if this is a good drinking game. We could be in trouble. Although he did say that every time that Ray asks asks you to do a game. And then pulls back because he has someone lined up. You have to do a double. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's Listen funny. here, Shooty. Uh, <laughs> I got something to say about that. <laughs> There's a phone number you can call. There's a phone number you can call. That's right. 1-800-SUCK-IT. <laughs> that's uh, right, Shooty. Uh, that's that right. second part was pretty good. <laughs> I, <thought. laughs> I do want to know how many times somebody said kid. I'm curious now. <laughs> I'm I curious. probably said a lot. Hell, I Last night, I'm trying to remember how many times I may have heard that said. I, I don't know. Were you saying it? Is this a refer, reference I, to someone? I probably everybody. To, I, to the other guy? I oh, that would be you, Mr. I know. <laughs> Mr. Chris? Well, I mean, it depends yeah. on if Jeff said it. I'm trying well, to remember. I don't know. You know. I don't remember that word being said a lot. Like I that. say you know a lot, and I have picked up on well, that. Well, you know. You know? True. Like that. So, True. It was like... Pausers, I don't know. Right. 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 You go broad, I need to go to yeah. broadcast school yeah. so I can learn how to talk. Broadcast center. That's Matt Sheedy says, Whitener says it about 150 times a show, hashtag alcohol poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> well, then uh, he must have said it a lot last night. Cause nice. I don't remember it. Nice. We I, need to play that sometime. <laughs> well, I don't know if we can. Facebook police will shut us down. Well, this is a family show. <laughs> I guess. Well, it is what it is. Well, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> silence. Whitener says it's about 150 times a show. Do you just not pick it up? We already said that. <laughs> 150 <laughs> times a show. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hold, on. Uh, Hold on. That's why he tapes it. Hey, but that's why he tapes <laughs> his <laughs> lessons hey, and it's not live. I got I to <laughs> right. hey. do a little shout out, though. Uh, that's not been a lot. It's only had two shows in the last two months. That was that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. Sorry, Ray. I, mean, uh, um, I had to have a little fun with that one. Hashtag on assignment. Uh, you're gone. <laughs> Get out. Oh, hey, uh, I thought he was going to say hashtag two viewers. I thought was, <laughs> <laughs> or hashtag suck it. Uh, oh, Get man. Get out. You're gone. See ya. <sighs> man. We got to give Ray Tough a little crowd hug. here. <laughs> Telling you, <laughs> we can't has, let Ray go off easily. That escalated anyway. quickly. Tough crowd. <laughs> crowd. I got out of hand. <laughs> got to keep your head on the swivel. <laughs> Pity I wasn't invited. Speaking of, speaking of that, you brought the cub. Oh, we hey, finally hey, yeah. Oh wow. There you go. wow, it's over here where it should be. Oh uh, well, it's just a matter of time. Don't worry. <laughs> Very true. Uh oh. Kyle Have you been studying? On. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Kyle Boar's on. We got to be quiet. Kyle's on? Oh, mm. my gosh. I am on delay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, probably a true statement. Probably a 100% true statement. That's, it's kind of like you uh, last night on Main Street Sports. I mean, you, you were talking, but your face wasn't I, moving. I was smiling. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it probably was. <laughs> I watched so, it again last night. I was like, so I got to tell a little story about world. that. So I was upset enough last night that I went to look for something different to try to work 
Yes. Uh, these virtual things. High speed internet. High speed. Well, it's it's, Got rid it's of more than just that. It's AOL. more than just that. So uh, we, we're checking out this uh, th- this new uh, newfound fang dangled thing, you know. MSN and Messenger. So I, yeah. It's called <laughs> it's called uh, <laughs> AOL. <laughs> You've got mail. You've got mail. <laughs> so I, I text I text uh, Riley and I said, Riley, help me out. And uh, so so I was kind of sitting there and I'm like. I sent him the link, we're, and and he immediately gets on the phone, and he's in his bedroom. And here's and here's Sammy, his wife. I'm feeling dry. I'm feeling <laughs> exactly. So I, I don't hope my feeling so long. <laughs> oh my goodness. So my. See if you feel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he turned red. Uh, my first reaction, I go, I go. Wow, I didn't know we had pillow talk here. You know, <laughs> pillow talk. <laughs> this is a family show. <laughs> so, Gosh. It, it was what it was, and uh, we, I saw a side of Riley and Sammy that probably shouldn't. Have. Yes, <laughs> you need to clarify. Oh, oh, hey! <laughs> oh, say, was he shirtless? Uh, oh, you can no, see those on he Facebook. Only, he only shows the, sh- the shirtless stuff to you there. Uh, uh, so. yeah. uh, that was weird. Well, oh my! All of our viewers are wondering, dun, 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 dun. dude, we just tripled our numbers right now. Just now. I'm not joking. Just like that. That's what happens. Uh, um, uh-oh. McVeigh over there is like, I don't know what I signed up for on this show. Uh, I just want to talk about sports. <laughs> you guys are just doing crazy stuff. Shooty has said Boyer and I had matching tuxedo <laughs> T-shirts all lined up for Monday's game until Halbrook pulled the plug. Yes, I did. I pulled the plug. Sorry. Why? Man. Yeah. Well, this is kind of how it, it, it works it, now. It better than a MoDOT worker. <laughs> yes. Oh, my Let's God. leave it at that. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Man, it is. <laughs> wow. He doesn't watch the show, uh, so I know you can get away with it. Right? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Bang, bang. Oh. I wasn't talking about anybody. Bang, bang. I just said a MoDOT yeah. worker. All you MoDOT, MoDOT workers, the, the <laughs> views here. <laughs> That's on and him. the coach's box are not all. <laughs> the views <laughs> of all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Who haven't we offended yet? That's a- uh, hey, oh, let's see. Joy There's 99.1, a... <laughs> baby. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness what gracious. What in the world are you okay. doing? Pepsi. Slurping my Pepsi. Okay. okay. So, um, Ugh, so no. First mistake. So, we've made some changes here at Livestream SDL. I've, I've given some more jobs to my wife. She smart. is. She is. That's a good it idea. Is, it is smart. I gave some jobs to her. Notice things one, a bit better. And one of them, one of those jobs, and it's only it's only been about two weeks. So we've had two weeks of uh, where she she's basically staffing people for us right now. And so she's got this thing it's called Sign Up Genius. Uh huh. And it takes a genius to get into Sign Up Genius. It does. And so you got to you know sign in and everything. And as Shooty is texting me today about being on, because I was asking him, hey, you know possibly Friday because our Saturday for your game Saturday right now right now we have nobody to, to call your game it might end up being me doing it all so we'll see how it goes fun. But, um, but anyway so I please. am tuning in so Monday <laughs> Monday he was asking about Monday and uh, and I said oh yeah it'd be really good and he's like oh well, let's get Dan Boyer again too and immediately as soon as I say that a, 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 an email comes up from sign up genius that that uh, Scott Lotta and Lee Richardson both signed up like bam bam right back to each next to each other. And I go, dude, I'm so sorry. They just signed up for it. And he's like, yeah, I see how you're doing. You know, there it is. He's all mad. So double shot. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> shooting. <laughs> sorry, shooting. That's double. <laughs> we'll catch you again. So there you go. Well, you know, I, I thought they did a great job. They, they even did. got a compliment from my dad. <laughs> he doesn't compliment anybody. And that's hard to do. <laughs> No, it, it's it's really damn hard to do. That's, I get it. I told Dan, I said, hey, you've got one compliment this year. I have zero. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. You so did had, something it, wrong. If you I, watched the, I watched the broadcast. It was good. It was really good. I made fun of them the whole time, but, you know, it's what you, it's what you do when you're friends. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was great. <laughs> I wish they would have had tuxedos, though. Well, they were saying that hey, you're looking up for t- I, I tuxedo think they t-shirts. So, could have you know. done it as a team. We're looking for Dumb and Dumber tuxedos. Pam, Pam. <laughs> We're looking for Harry and Lloyd tuxedos. Oh my goodness! <laughs> smells like ketchup and onions. <laughs> <laughs> you hear Great the most movie. annoying sound of the world. Uh, wrong movie. Wrong movie. Wrong movie. Are off the rails. <laughs> 
Jarvis, uh, Zach, what's Jarvis, our next? Why are you so quiet, Jarvis? Zach, what's our next topic? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, we we can talk about. <laughs> well, guys, you had the list. Well, I, I came up with the list. I, did you hear about Draymond's comments? No, okay, educate us on this because right. I'm late to this part. All right. So he came out a couple days ago. So the the issue is you've got Blake Griffin, and they're holding him out, and then you've got the Cavs are holding out Drummond for. Uh, trading purposes, right? So, Draymond is saying there's a double standard when it comes to employees and it comes to players, okay, or employers and employees, that the NBA can do that. There's no repercussions. They can hold out players. Fans don't care. That's fine. But as soon as somebody, say, like Harden, wants to be traded and he's going to pack it in, mail it in, not try, wants to sit, now all of a sudden he's vilified. Well, there's this double standard. So he comes out and makes this claim that it's you know it's it's not fair for the players uh, and what the owners and what the teams are doing. It, it needs to be somewhat similar with the approach to if you're going to sit players or play players when you're going to trade them or put them on the trade market. Yep. My comment is, my opinion on it is, you're a player. You're an employee. You're not the employer. Mm-hmm. You signed a contract. You're going to, you know. Yeah, it's getting we, paid. You're getting paid, right? I'm paying you. I can sit you. Exactly. If I'm paying you, I'll play you. Exactly. Exactly. I, I get sick of these guys that are making millions and millions mm-hmm. of dollars and say, I'm not making it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and it's, it, I think you get into that realm of making millions and millions of dollars, you think that maybe your opinion matters more than what it is. And then it, we don't, you know. Like this show, it's all entertainment based, right? Oh, no, I thought my opinion mattered. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Wow, that's no only the the two people that are watching, I guess. But uh, no, all. I mean it's up to five. Okay, sorry, but no, I mean, I, you know, I, my, I mean, you guys can make your comments on it. I, you know, I'm kind of in the same vein as Jarvis here, saying, look, you're an employee. If you don't like it, you can always. There's the door. See yeah. Ya. Don't yeah. sign a contract with somebody and then all of a sudden say you don't want to play. But we we see this. We see it in we see this in um, basketball. We see this in football. <laughs> what are we doing here? What's going on? This is Blair. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh! <laughs> is this hey, who Mom, I think it is? Mama this Donna is had to come through with another we're picture. We're gonna have to start taking our Adderall before we. Do I didn't that. say, holy cow, guys! Oh. Looks I'm, just like me. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna have to edit that up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can make a meme out of that. <laughs> oh, I, trust me, I know you can. Yeah. I, I, I really, I really don't like seeing it either. I think it's stupid that so, guys are they, they sign a contract and then they don't want to play. Mm-hmm. And why, why does it matter? I mean, they're try If you try to, there's, there's nothing against a team tanking to try to get a draft, better draft pick. Mm-hmm. And teams don't tank, do they? Yeah, they do. Okay, except the Jets, astronomically <laughs> stupid. And what, I, so what, I, I mean, okay. why, why not? Why not just lose them all? And just get Trevor Lawrence. So, what do you think then about like Deshaun Watson? I don't, I don't like it. Well, I mean, we kind of talked a little bit about so that. So, what last about week. Russell Wilson saying, "Hey, we need some help on the O line." I don't have a problem that's, with him saying anything yeah. there. Because you say what you want, but when you're gonna when you're gonna come out and say, "I refuse to play," then fine, forfeit your money. Mm-hmm. But I, I get where. Like, there, there I, needs, I, but Deshaun Watson signed the deal, mm-hmm. and he had what's his name. Um, uh, Hopkins, mm-hmm. and then they and then they him. traded him, mm-hmm. and what then happens? they fired the idiot coach, mm-hmm. and now JJ Watt. Left. They let JJ mm-hmm. Watt. Left. I mean, I get it's, it's a, a dumpster fi- fire. I get that. It's a dumpster fire of crap. And how much money flying down the road? How many reasons he's got? What like I don't know, 130 million reasons to, to get to your ass knocked out by anybody coming. They don't have anybody to protect him. He didn't have anybody to throw. He had nobody to throw to. Mm-hmm. He, they were pulling guys off the street. Mm-hmm. Hey, you want to play football? I don't know how. Cool. Here, you're mm-hmm. a wide receiver, mm-hmm. and he had a career year. Mm-hmm. Imagine what he'd do if he had anybody else. Now I will say, I don't. I don't like when guys say they're not going to play, mm. but don't go and, and and say, "Hey, we got this whole mm-hmm. we're 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 going to build around you, and we're going to do this," and then you turn around and sell off like you're the Marlins of '98. Doesn't matter; it's their team. You said this a while ago. I it's know they're the owners. They can I, they do what they the want to do. But they, I I see both sides of it. Right. I don't like it, but I see that. I see that side of it. it. That's a different. That's to me. That's different than what Hard Harden's wanted. Every other player here. Mm-hmm. I want this guy. They mm-hmm. go and get this guy. That mm-hmm. nah, ain't good enough. I, they mm-hmm. trade him. I want this guy. Okay, bring him in. Mm-hmm. 
that's different uh, yeah. than, hey, we we're, you are a franchise guy. We're going to mm-hmm. build our team around. You are the focal point, mm-hmm. and then we trade and get rid of everybody and mm-hmm. become the laughing stock of the NFL. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. Still so, getting yeah. paid. We ain't getting paid, yeah, unless you don't show up. Ter- ter- terrible. Yeah. Terrible. So. I'm just saying. But what mm-hmm. happens if you and I just tell our boss, ah, we're not coming to work today? You gone. Then you got to go. Well, yeah. in your case, it might be different. No, it's not. If I say sure? I'm not coming to work today, they tell me you come to work or you don't have a job. You're going to say that's okay, Riley. <laughs> I, wish. I wish. By the way, here's your picture. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, here we go. There Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> As they're watching on the home and the couch on the there television it is. stuff. Yeah. And wait for it. I don't we're, know. I can't we're, see we're it. We're a little You're about 20 it. seconds behind. Oh, well, so. we got to make up some 20 seconds of talk here. So, mm-hmm. well, your mom shares a picture. There it is. And it's of you as a little kid. How old were you in this picture? Oh, that might have been. Come on. I'm saying probably <laughs> fifth grade. Like them kicks. Yeah, buddy. That was big time. What kind of shoes were they? I don't know. The Converse? That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> They're black. That's good stuff. Yeah, they were black. Uh, they, I had big feet back then. I don't know what happened You know what they say me. about people with big feet? Uh, yep. Or I big sure socks. Do. Yeah, I do have that. Right? Big socks. Yeah. I don't know. What, That's good stuff. We won something. What do you, what do you like what the Mama else? Blair Riley picture of the week? <clears throat> Why don't we just make oh, that a thing? Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, we can just really <laughs> a post picture that. It could be like the week. opening to the show. Don't tempt her because she will send it, uh, I'm sure. Uh, uh, Miss Blair, that's what we need to have done. <laughs> you can just send those to me. You can send them to Ray. Yep. And we can we'll make, take care of it for you. We can have some kind of like collage by the end <laughs> of the year. You'll have a good one. Yeah. I There's mean, a well, bunch of good ones. it'll be just like a lot of Blair. They've got <sighs> albums this big, like 10 of them laying around. Does your sister get as much attention as you? No, because I was an only child for 13 years before she came along. So from 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 when I was zero to 13, I was I was it. And, so and how'd you feel about that afterwards? I mean, I was at that age where I yes. didn't really bother me as much. But sure, you know, I wouldn't trade her for the world. That's for sure. She's one of my best friends. So that's for sure. Yeah, that's After good. 13 years of difference, I mean, you think about it, you usually don't have a lot of things. In age common, is so. just a number. I'm just gonna throw that out there. All right, boy. <laughs> I wouldn't know why you would say that, Jarvis. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, Just a number. <laughs> and Ray hit the music. Oh, it <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little. I'm a little uh, sleepy. No. Over See, there. he's on delay too. I'm telling you, all, all, all you guys. On delay. All he's, you guys. Already, he's already done a show. Yep. It, I'm in show show mode number two here. Two. Dosis. That's right. Yeah, hey, and Rachel, anytime anybody, anybody not just Rachel, yeah. anybody else who wants to come to, uh, to yeah. Lapa's, mm-hmm. come here. They, obviously, the food is great. It is. Yes. The drinks are great. Obviously, Pepsi is great. Wow. Well, and it's whatever, you know. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are more welcome to come here and heckle us on the show. We, we encourage it. We do it all the time. And people do. People walk by and be like, hey, what are you guys doing? Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot to turn the light on. a little bit of a show here. Let's turn the light we, on, too. No. Oh. That's the turn right orange light too. Turn orange oh. for, for uh, oh. the, he had a pink. <laughs> That's a Blair light. Well, yeah. <laughs> all right, it is what it is. Ray, hey, pay the bills. Hey, Let's go pay the bills before you pay the Oak bills. Hill. No. I gotta, I gotta oh. give a special shout out uh, to look at that engraving. Look at that shirt. Uh, you know, Chris's mom and dad. They do a, a great job, and, and uh, they were uh, fortunate. I was purchased one of these uh, playmate boards for. Uh, you know, for our team, and uh, you know, highlighted it with uh, the black cat logo in the middle, my name on the back, Ooh, and then got a cord oh, as well. There you go. There you go, and then towel. attached is a towel hey, nice. uh, as well. Yeah. On top of that, a, a how, marker to how go long with it. before he breaks it. <laughs> Tomorrow night. I mean, go for it. Tomorrow night. <laughs> My there mom's like, here, I made you one. I go, that's good. I don't just got to see how long it's going to last. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it yes. tests its durability. So if you're looking for a coaching board. They are the right people. Take care of you. For all Service. you coaches, for all you coaches who watch, Chris might have had this. Chris might have had this for a week. I just got it tonight, but she had it done in two days. Not bad. You know what? Good Be service. around somewhere. Man, busting the delivery boy. <laughs> wow. 
One eight hundred suck it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> crap! Oh. Just beat it. <laughs> <laughs> the service is phenomenal, minus the delivery guy. Wow! <laughs> hey, what you? I'm gonna flip some stuff here. <laughs> you're gonna flip a classroom, right? You're not gonna flip the grid. You're gonna flip. <laughs> and with that, we are gonna get out of here. You watch the coach's box. We will we'll be, be right back. We'll be back. hope you're enjoying tonight's presentation take advantage of the hd experience here with livestream stl by going to the tkds sports network app download the app and subscribe by going to videos.tkdssports.com that'll get you access onto our tkds sports app roku and fire stick and thanks so much for your support of livestream stl Fine Mexican cuisine. A family atmosphere. Any place to watch your local sport teams. Come out to La Pechangas. Check out our four locations. Arnold, Herculaneum, Crystal City, and One Fair. Come out to La Pechanga. Dr. Craig Rubel is an orthopedic surgeon and fellowship-trained sports medicine specialist who cares for all athletes of all ages, performing total joint replacements, knee and shoulder arthroscopies, and general orthopedic procedures such as fracture treatment and corporal tunnel releases. Visit rubelortho.com or call 636-933-7400. Hi, I'm Lawrence Krodinger with Home by SMCI. Whether it's residential or commercial, we have the right products for you. Global Plasma Solutions will attack your bacteria, mold, viruses, even help dust in your house. They install easily, less than 45 minutes, and it's invaluable for the rest of your life. If you're interested in any of the products that we do offer, give us a call at 636-337-4444 or send us an email at service at homebysmci.com. Jefferson College has affordable degree options for students of all ages. Plus, the quality of education rivals any four-year university and designated classes are guaranteed to transfer. Jefferson College provides safe on-site and online options and many exciting career pathways like humanities, business, social science and public service, math, physics and technology, and science and health. Students who know, go Jeffco. Enroll now at jeffco.edu. Coach Riley Blair from the Herculean Black Cats. Hi, this is Coach Jarvis from the Herculean Black Cats. Hi, this is Coach Zach McVay with the Jefferson Lady Blue Jays. Hi, I'm Chris Miller from St. Pius X High School. And you're watching the Coach's Box. And you are watching the Coach's Box on Livestream STL. On Livestream STL. We are back for round two here of the Coach's Box. Before we get started with that, we want to let you know what's going on for February Madness. We've got February Madness going on here. Starting actually as early as this Saturday. This Saturday we'll, up, we'll be down in uh, Lancer Land of St. Pius as the McKinley Goldbugs come to town February 20th at 2.45. We'll have that in its entirety. Um, Monday... We'll have the winner of, I believe, and I'll let me double check this with Coach McVay here. This is the the winner of um, your game, and who are you, who are you guys playing Saturday? We're the we're the three seed playing huh? six seed Bishop DeBerg. Bishop DeBerg. So the winner of that will play the Pious Lancer Ladies on the twenty second at six forty five, 
and then we move over to Crystal City. Crystal City boys, 545 on Tuesday on the 23rd. Girls on the 24th, 545. Both of those, both uh, Crystal City boys and girls ended up with the two seed in district competition. Get a few, few days off, and we end up next Saturday with February 27th. The Fredericktown Lady Cats come out to Black Cat Land of Herculaneum. Let's bring them they're going to be matching up with the Herculean Black Cat Girls. February 27th, 445 is our pregame. And if you're interested in helping us out with advertising on that, give us a call, 314-852-4398, or live stream STL at Outlook.com as we roll into our next segment. And everybody's throwing their headsets on right now. We got them. There you go. Mine's been on. he has been on the entire I'm time. You know what's going on here. You're an overachiever, Ed. It's the 100% true there statement. You go. That's right. right. Better I'll, than underachiever. I'll pose, pose a question. And here's, here's your, your topic. Here's your topic. All right. So let's say we all had conference tournaments. We all before, had conference tournaments. Before playoffs. Before playoffs. Okay. So You just said we, we need to say it, so right. I just figured we need to say it. All right, it. there we go. Okay, right. let's say this. this. You're not going to make the NCAA tournament. You two will. Okay. okay. Who, who's, who isn't? You're not. These why, two why will. Why me? Is it because of <laughs> – I'm just saying. Is that have not my education? Huh? No, I'm just okay. saying. So, because of COVID, here's, oh. the, here's the debate, right? Sure. You two are guaranteed a spot in March Madness. Okay. Do you want to play a conference tournament and risk getting COVID and all the COVID protocols, or are you going to sit out? Uh, I'm, if I'm, you're Gonzaga, or I'm risking it. Baylor, you're going to risk or Baylor. I'm now, Chris, it. your Kentucky, Duke, <laughs> whoever. So I'm a big loser right, right? now. Thanks. Big, yeah. Do you want to play? If that's your only shot again in a conference shot, tournament, yeah. So if no one of these other teams are doing it, that makes a smaller conference tournament. Exactly. And huh. probably the teams that are guaranteed to be in the tournament already probably are going to opt out. Oh, yeah. Sure. So that makes your path to potentially dancing in March a little bit easier. I mean, what's – Right, wrong, what's, different? What's the value of another West Coast Conference title for Gonzaga? You're the one who said that you would tr- you would chance it, so I'm asking You're you. You're Gonzaga. You said you were going to chance you it. You would chance Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So the West Coast Conference title you know, versus the, the thing one that you've seed. got the last how many years <laughs> is more important than the NCAA tournament. Okay, so. Yeah, no, it's, just, it's a yes or no. Okay. So he said it's right before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So right before. Yep. I'm going to play it because I don't want to go in a week and a half, two weeks, three weeks without a game. It's the risk you take. If you're doing things the You've right got way. you college athletes who mm-hmm. are – It doesn't take two weeks it to play the tournament. Oh, bull. No, I mean, talking about those – let's say you don't play that week before. So you play yeah, one, one game. Week. It's one, one week. week. It's one so week. you got one full week, and then you got another full week before the tournament starts. It's Thursday. It's, it's, one, it's one week. Okay. You usually finish up on a Thursday or okay. Friday. Okay, sure. Week Saturday. and a half. Okay. Oh, so, I split the difference. There you go. Week so, and a half. I'm playing because I want to. I want an opportunity to keep my legs, kids fresh, keep them out of any situation. And then They're they get be, COVID. Well, they get it. They get it. it happens. Yeah, it does. So that West Coast <laughs> Conference title. So uh, that you've it's, won. It's not. I mean, I can, of the last sixteen years. I'm not caring about that. I'm caring about what's so best it for our kids. Sounds like you are kind of caring about. No, it. You're going to go into the tournament and you're going to play the school of the blind and armless. I you're say the one you're one seed. playing the sixteen. You're playing some. Here's what Loser I'm going to tell you. That, if I'm the NCAA tournament committee one. and you back out of a tournament because you want to hold up, held your kids out, I'm going to take that into consideration. When well, I put you know what? I, I guess you should have been on the committee that let Ohio State in. I wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounds like you should have been then. No. Nope. Yeah, well, maybe I should have been. So life has to be fair. No, it doesn't. It. <laughs> no, it doesn't. This is like the first time you two guys have, like, bickered. Uh, trust me, I would care. never let that happen. Wow. I'm My personal opinion okay, is rule book, Randy. I want to do what's best <laughs> you for my kids. Wouldn't you agree, Jonas? Rule book, Riley? are going to be put in that position. I'm, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Just watch it. <laughs> that's just it. That's the way it is. Jarvis is over there with the Michael Jackson <laughs> meme of the guy. He's eating popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play. You kidding me? I mean, so I, oh, what, thanks, what you're thanks, saying buddy. is 
you would do like Zach McVay says, fall down. No, they fall, <laughs> fall, 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 fall forward. Fall forward. Fall forward. What are you talking fall about? Fall forward. You're already in. Don't gain any yards. You're, you're, you're a one seed. seed. Don't yeah. gain any you're yards. You're the number one team in the tournament. Uh-huh. You, you have nothing. Don't you have nothing gain to gain. Any more yards. You have you nothing. Kid gets hurt. Them. Kid gets hurt. Rolls an ankle. Blows in the air. Hey. Some of the contact tracing. He might get the pizza delivery hey. guy had COVID, hey. and that means he knocked out four or five of your players. Uh-huh. So what is it? What what is your player doing outside here? It snowed 10, 10 inches, twelve inches. I know that, they outside shoveling snow. Okay, so he, what? He slips and falls and <laughs> turns his ankle. What happens? Oh well, we should have played that game. Now we lost him. God, live your life in fear a little. <laughs> bit. That's exactly right. I'm not living my life in fear. <laughs> Jarvis, it's what do you the think? Different, it's different. <laughs> no, you it guys. Oh, this COVID stuff's got you all wrapped up. No, I mean, if you're going to have. Wow. <laughs> Shots fired. Yeah. Wow. I think anybody who knows me knows that's totally different. It's a true statement, but I still. Will tell you, I will tell you this. If, if they're going to allow you to opt out and you're still going to get in the tournament, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Why chance it? I wouldn't, it's, I wouldn't. If it's your best team you've had. If it's Wouldn't. the best team you've had in 25 years as a program that's come through, recruited, whatever, you ask. and it's your best opportunity. It'd be, it's the same thing that we said about the people who had opt out that last week of playing before districts well. so that nobody had any issues mm-hmm. of quarantine before dis- the district tournament. We had that same conversation. I, this is exactly like that. I wouldn't have it. I wasn't for it. I, I wasn't for that. But this is a this is a little different monster. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. <sighs> no, it's not. Yeah, it is. A little bit of money wrapped up, too. Well, that's that's on them, then. Uh, you need to tell me college athletics, the money made for the tournament? There may be. So the money – oh, so and you win, they win that West Coast Conference title, which carries diddly squat money-wise. Somebody's so be, okay, is it? But then all of a sudden contract tracing comes back. <sighs> you get knocked out of the tournament. The tournament gets you money. Hey, I'm playing. And you playing. don't get it. I'm playing. How does that? How does that work? I'm risking it because here's You're risking, my point. You're risking for the biscuit. Here, here's Tom my, Brady style. Here, here's what I'm risking. <laughs> no, my kids are gonna play. No. My kids came to the yeah, college gonna do it. to play the game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They came to play the game. Oh, play the game, Kyle. Play the game, Kyle Play the game. Riley, no. tell him to say play the game. Yeah, he's got it in my headset right <laughs> here. Uh, no, no, no. Kind of like in the games. Hey. Blair, please do this. Come on, Blair. Blair. <laughs> they're, they're running that circle that's, out of bounds. That's, that's what good assistants do oh, right stop. there. Kiss you know, they give butt. you some guidance. So. Uh, I, 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 look, yeah, like I get the, it. I would love to grab I, look, the seat for any him to sit on. Other, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chairman. Any chairman. other time. Any other time I'm saying you got to play it. Mm-hmm. I'm playing it. I, I, I'm playing it regardless. If, if, I'm, if, if I'm one of the top teams, no, play top it. four, play number it. one seed, I'm not doing it. Anybody else? Yeah, I'll play and I guarantee you, here's if what's going to happen. If you're, that I'll, team's going to get beat in the second round against the eight nine game. You want to bet on any of those? Mm. I bet side you know, bets. You know, let me tell you why. Side bets is because if they're not playing for a week and a half, you could ask any college coach. If you're not playing a game, there's for a, a week bunch and of them who didn't play for a week and a half. And you see how bad that next game was. Mm-hmm. Rough. They're, rough. They're playing. Rough, they're rough. playing against the Sisters of the Blind. I, I think it's a lot more even. Uh, than what you think this year? Uh, uh, there is uh, no. All time favorite. I don't know. I watch the Baylor get Tech play. They look like they're a lot better than everybody else. <laughs> what if, well, okay, what if you're not the top? What if you're not a one? A little different. What if you're Kentucky? I'm playing. Well, you, you gotta, gotta play. play. You, you gotta, gotta play. play. You have well, play. unless the NCAA is like, you know, there's a bunch of men there. Good. I don't. I don't know if they're gonna get in. They were talking about. I'm Duke. on the tournament committee. I'm. You're all, you are <laughs> uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically quiet He's right now. He's talking to you. He's talking to no, you. No, but I'm like, there ain't no way. In, I'm telling you what they said on the radio. They said Kentucky well, is, the unless right. they win, but Duke mathematically has a chance. Oh, my god! <laughs> I'm just so saying what saying they're going to know. Do I think they, they will? No. No, no I don't think they will. No, that Here's every, what I'll tell you that every that. person on the committee should be kicked in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Wiffle ball bat. Wiffle ball bat. Hashtag tweeter. What that's going to tell, <laughs> tell every other college program oh in the gosh. nation is right. what? don't play your non-conference schedule, only play a conference schedule, and you're good to yeah, go. Yeah, the, the team's like. They did it. It's Ohio State. You play all their conference schedule. Well. But that's moving forward. That's moving forward. State, Jim Duke. Power says Blair is absolutely 100% correct. About what? Play the game. 
Play the game. Hey, go play it. Uh, I, if I'm, if the West Coast Conference title is not important. I, I could care less about the West Coast Conference title. No, I if care. I'm Gonzaga, I, 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 why, why yeah. do I care? You just said. Because they got to keep playing. If you sit out for a week and a half or two You're weeks. You're the best done. team in the country. No, it, it doesn't uh, matter. They're, gonna do it. they're college They're students. not going to sit out. It's not like they're just going to stay in their dorm room. They're going <laughs> to be practicing. They're going to be practicing. Practice. And they're you going to be practicing against the number one team in the nation. Practice. You can't say Games. practicing and Games. playing a game is the same. But I can tell Never you that in my life would I, can I say t- that. Okay, all right. So, all right. Uh oh. I don't want to go here, but I'm going to go here. Uh oh. So, when Maplewood's winning football titles and basketball titles, and they're drubbing everybody in our conference by 80 or not that much, but 50 or 60, and then they come out at <laughs> halftime and they say, "Hey, I'm going to leave my starters in for another couple series because <laughs> we need to get ready for next week." And we say, wait a second, your scrub team, your junior high team, could probably do a little bit better than what There's, we could give you. That's not it. That's apples and oranges. It what? is not. What? It is not. <laughs> it is not. This is college. We're talking college. Exactly. Teams. Exactly. We are talking. There's not a whole lot of games there. like that in Division One college. I know. That's my exact point. What I'm trying to it, say is the fact that the, the, the talent level is here okay. at practice. So, so you get bounced in the first round of your conference tournament. The second round or the semifinals, you're still sitting out. Yes. it's it, You're talking about a couple days difference if you don't win it. It's Selection Sunday. They turn around and play on Thursday, yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's so a what? Week. It's, it's you're talking like a couple days. Okay, so if there's no COVID, you're saying that. You're, you're going to yes, say that. You're saying it's because, because of COVID. No, because this of COVID. This is all COVID. This is, this is a all COVID, COVID thing. thing. This is all COVID Here's because it's, it's irrelevant if there's no COVID. Yeah. Because, because they're going to say, oh, Gonzaga, wait a second. You're popped, and now you're out. This is this whole season is going to be COVID. So if you, whoever wins the national title, are they really the best team in the NCAA? The Dodgers tournament? were the best team in baseball. They won a COVID title. The Tampa Bay Lightning were the best team. I'm just telling in you, hockey. I, just, I, I, I think it's absolutely the insane team. for any team to opt out. The Lakers were the best for an team. opportunity. I don't want to play. say that I hate the Lakers because no. here's what I think: you don't right now. I don't go and coach my kids and say, okay, we're, we're going to play in this conference tournament. There's maybe a risk for us to miss out on two games, so I'm not going to play you guys. Hope you guys understand that. We're going to practice every day. What do you think my kids are going to say? What if they're going to say, wait, let's wait, go, wait. They're going to say, let's go win a national title. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We the, haven't the done that is, before. Let's, well, no, maybe wait. win a national title. Yes. We don't have no – I mean, this is all, wait, wait. I would that do. That kid may never play another basketball game again. He may I, go outside and slip and turn his ankle and never go play again. I wouldn't. I would make this turn decision unilaterally. Play again. <laughs> wait a minute. I would make this <laughs> decision half. Man, I would make must. this decision unilaterally. <laughs> As a coach of one of those teams, you let this. You, hey, here you go. You guys decide what you want to do. You're the ones who gave up. This is your year of eligibility. <laughs> mm-hmm. You decide. I wouldn't do it. If the kids decide they want to do it, which they again, all the college players here have the have the power. Because they can opt out, whatever. Speaking of, well, that was my next and topic. That comes more. If Gonzaga opts out, I hope the 16th seed gives him COVID. <laughs> <laughs> how much, ding, how ding, much ding, money ding, would you ding, lose ding, ding. on your bets, Kyle? That's the question. <laughs> that's, so the, that, see, okay. that's the question. So now, let's transition and talk about, talk about players that are on those teams that are now opting out, like the Duke freshman who's going to be a lottery pick. He decides that he's going to opt out, and he's, he's done. That's why you get rid of the one and done rule. Yeah. It's the same thing as those kids sitting out hey, bowl games. Yeah. If I'm an NBA scout, it's dumb. And I hate he sits bowl, out because of I that. Hate bowl right. games. I ain't I ain't worried about you. You, you you're gonna say you're gonna pass on a lottery pick? Absolutely. In the NBA doesn't matter. You can have personality like that. Well, I doubt but it's <laughs> James difference. Harden. There's oh, I agree. <laughs> but but here's what I'm I'm thinking as I am in that shoes, I'm gonna tell him. Yeah. See ya. Mm-hmm. Get out. Uh, someone on there also said this all started with Eli Manning when he got, it was going to get drafted, <laughs> you know, and he was hey, like, go nope. back to, he would go back to Elway. Elway to sat 80s. out, too. He yeah. said he want to go play for the Colts. Yeah. I mean, the most craziest thing ever. Bo Jackson. Yeah. Bo Jackson. Gosh, Just what saying. a bad man mm-hmm. that guy was. Mm-hmm. Uh, how about that? Mm-hmm. How about that? Mm-hmm. He was yeah. back in the draft and supplemental pick. All of a sudden, you know, I think I'm going to play football now. Mm-hmm. Yep, so that works. Ooh, never Kevin again. Holly with the poster. <laughs> you don't opt out this late in the year. You quit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If the kids – look, it, it doesn't matter. If the kids all come to you and say, Coach, we don't want to play. We want to play for national championship. and We don't care about the West Coast Conference title because we're already in. Uh, it's all right, guys. Hey, I guess the de- would the debate be if they don't play and you're on the selection committee, do they still get a one seed or are you going to drop them down to a two? Hey, I'm if just, I have I'm somebody wondering. that's playing really good basketball in the conference tournament and they're on the verge of being that four, 
mm-hmm. the fourth best team, mm-hmm. and then Gonzaga didn't play mm-hmm. because they opted out. Hey, I'm going to give the first opportunity to the cat team that played. Mm-hmm. I think they played the season. I mean, same goal concept goes for Duke. I'm not going to give Duke any leeway mm-hmm. for the simple fact that they didn't play any non-conference games. Mm-hmm. Why? I mean, mm-hmm. what 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 did that do for those kids besides put them in the gym to practice more? Has that made a difference? No. They're still not winning games. Mm-hmm. They're practicing against elite players. They're still not winning games. <laughs> still not winning games, my friends. I was just bringing up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it just it drives me crazy to sit to hear all this stuff because you know, I, we're we're very fortunate. We're getting to coach kids. We don't have that opportunity, mm-hmm. but we're taking every game as it it could be our last. So mm-hmm. you know, we're taking the responsibility and and as, very, as coaches. They so, uh, they asked on the Main Street Sports Show today to bring up the other show, but uh, they they talked about <laughs> like he's gonna mute <laughs> he's me. Gonna mute, yeah. They talked about how what what did you you know what did you oh I did beat you sorry <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> What uh, <coughs> butt hurt? <laughs> yeah, I know. Gosh, one eight hundred suck it, Jarvis. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so we <laughs> talked about like what was one of the things that we were proud of, blah blah blah. And I said, you know, we played teams that we would have nor- normally probably not played, mm-hmm. just because I wanted to make sure my seniors and my kids were getting mm-hmm. in games. Mm-hmm. And like we took on Fox, we took on some teams we wouldn't have played normally. And uh, I wouldn't have backed out because I thought I might get COVID on any point. And, and, and a comment here from Mike, I, if a coach's focus is on conference titles as opposed to the big dance, there definitely needs to be some reevaluations going on. We're not, I'm not saying that we're playing that game to win a conference title. I'm saying we're playing that game to stay fresh, stay ready, to go for the big dance. I'm not – I mean, I, have, I could care less about winning a conference title for that point. Well, the conference title at the college level has a little bit more importance than it does – at the high school level because you have to win that yep. to mm-hmm. get an automatic entry. Yeah. Right. Yes. You can get at large bids. Mm-hmm. Correct. And, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're the number one team in the country mm-hmm. and you get the top overall seed, mm-hmm. or they're already coming out with their projections right now, which I don't know what, why they would. Well, but, what's, yeah. what's your line? So let's, let's take – I know they've lost three in a row, but let's take a Mizzou who at one point oh. was going to be a four seed. Mm-hmm. Now, top unless 10. they win – some more games here coming up in March or, you know, late February, March. I don't know. They'll probably drop. They're probably like a 10. Okay. That's what do you do? Uh, it, I mean, right now they're they're 20th, ranked 20th, but that'll drop because they lost again. But if you were Mizzou and your Conzo, what are you doing? Because you're kind of on that bubble. You got to play in the conference tournament oh, yeah. if you're Mizzou. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, think if, I think if you're any team at all and you want to play the game and you came – into this season knowing COVID was going to happen. I mean, why, why? What What good is it to risk the opportunity for you? Let's just say those kids go out. I mean, you can't tell me they're going to go straight from practice, right to the dorm, never leave, never go anywhere, never do anything. They go out, and one of them gets it, and they didn't get to play. Those kids didn't get to play in the conference tournament. Mm-hmm. Now they don't get to play in the big dance because they're quarantined. Now you've risked all of that for what? For what? What was the what was the reward of risking not playing for something like so that could happen any shape or form doesn't necessarily be playing against somebody in a conference tournament. I, I biggest thing I think about it is is the these are college programs that are willing to play. If you're willing to play, there's a lot of schools that aren't playing. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I've opted out this entire mm-hmm. season. Look at the Ivy League. They, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I, I mean, that's their choice. That mm-hmm. was their opportunity, and it's your coach's choice. And that's, But as far as me, I would say play the game. You're going to tell me it was the coach's choice at those universities? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the university saying we're not playing. Yeah, we're, yeah, and definitely. But but I'm saying is if I, if they're putting a, the choice in my hands, I'm telling my kids, hey, you know what? Let's We played this whole season. Let's do what we've been doing, take care of ourselves, and then let's play. And I think that – and I hear you on that, let's do what we're doing. But I think what Chris is trying to argue is you can control what you can control, but you can't control the other teams. And so why risk Why risk playing that other team well, that gonna you don't ri- know? Well, I'm not going to play the 16th seed because I don't, you know, we're the no, one. No, that's different because that's the tournament. You're now in the tournament. Okay, and you're so now playing for a national championship. So I'm what, saying it's gonna, it can happen at any point. Exactly. What, does, what do you tell what, – what is that telling those kids on your team? If you say, hey, guys, I know, I know we want to win this conference tournament. Ding, but, Kyle Bohr. But you know what? We got a chance to win 
the national title, yeah. the NCAA I th- tournament. I think if you're Gonzaga and you're those kids, uh, conference title, national title. But but I'm I saying don't. is, I, okay, I'm going to let you opt out, but you got to go to work the day after we live, or the day after we win the national title. Mm-hmm. you got a job. You're going to start at 8 a.m. the next day. Mm-hmm. But it's okay if you say, hey, I just want a national title, so I'm going to take a couple days off if you don't mind. I think that boss is going to say, yeah, no. He's going to say, you got a job to do the next day. You well, got, I, still got to do it. So Com said this. I, I, I don't know that we're, we're, we're setting these kids up to understand that there's a way out of everything you do. I mean, to me, you got to say, hey, you, you got to go out and do what you've been taught to do, and that's just play the game. That's, what, that's why you're there. You're mm-hmm. there to play the game. I mean, this pandemic goes, it was nobody's control. You know, we have no control over it, even if we were not practicing. We could, one of those kids that's not getting to play very much may get ticked off mm-hmm. and, and, you know, go do something stupid to try to risk it for his tired teammates because he's mad at them playing. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's just a, there, there's so many risks that you're going to take on a daily basis. We all are taking risks every day. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I mean, are we living our life? Yes. You know, and uh-huh. I think that sometimes that – these we, we're teaching kids, college, even college kids, that it's okay to take the side road because you want to do this. When I don't know necessarily that the side road is always the best option. Don't they do that in college? Uh oh, he's going to do the geography lesson again here. Side we're, road. We're going to go oh. side road. We're going to get up to Canada. <laughs> go through Canada. <laughs> get to Alaska. Come on, put, by the ocean. Get on Noah's Ark. <laughs> hey, I think they found right. it up there. You want to switch up gears? Ray, you want to take a commercial? <laughs> yeah. um, you don't want to don't want to hear us. No, I. I mean, I haven't I heard, heard anybody said, else. I mean, we can agree, said, disagree. I mean, it's he, fine. I, I don't. I, Only one's I not talking play. is right. This but guy. what do you, what play? you think? So, so you would ri- you would risk your players an opportunity to play in the conference tournament to play in the NCAA tournament? Yeah. If I if I'm the number one team, yeah. If that's what they want so to do, wait, wait, what, it's, wait, wait! It's not what I, what I want to do. I, I wanted to, I wanted to go and play Rollin in the Christmas tournament, but I knew we had a commitment to another tournament. I let the kids decide this. Mm-hmm. I said, "Look, guys, here's what you can do: you can play in this tournament. And you have a good chance of walking into the finals by just getting off the bus two times, right? Or you go play over here. Play teams are going to probably kick your ass. Mm-hmm. The kids wanted to play over at Rolla right. two years in a row. I let them decide it. It's the, it's their season. I don't care." It, 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 these kids gave up their – this is my year of eligibility to come to this college. I feel like we got one of the best teams in the country. <laughs> if that's what they want to do, eh, okay. I don't care. I mean, that's fine. I'll coach them whichever way they want to go. But I, 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 I would respect their decision if that's what they feel. But if I'm one of those teams where I'm fighting for a spot – yeah, I want to go to the conference. So tournament. if you're, if and it's all COVID related, I would rather. Yeah, right. you got to do that's, it if it's not. If it's, you're not the number one seat, it, it, it's. But what I say then? But what? You, what if you? What if you were the tenth best team in the country? We're playing the conference tournament. What didn't you understand about that? I'm, I'm the number one team. Only the number one. Okay, seat if I'm team. if I'm Baylor or Gonzaga or who? Yeah, that's it. Wow, that is it. I They've got. I just the, don't get it. Don't okay. get it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, everyone's saying it's a catch twenty two. Because it is. It, well, like yeah. Not sure there's a right or wrong answer. There isn't. You're right. Hundred percent. I agree. Play the I, games. That's what I say. I, I just that's what I'm If you're gonna play the games, you play to win the game. That's Always. Right. Every that's night. Right. Hello. Every night. That's what you do. All right. That's what winners do. That's what winners do. Oh gosh. <laughs> Quote go. of the night by <laughs> Riley Blair. Oh. <clears throat> do we do we want to wow. talk about? It? I've got two more things on the agenda here about the <laughs> the most unbreakable records. Oh, so what's and Matt Shooty saying here? We're switching to the, the yeah, coaches box I'm kids drinking sh- game brought to you by Riley Blair. Hey. I'm on shock top number three. I already. mean, at least if you're gonna Shoot. bust a funny, at least say Corona. We're at a Mexican <laughs> restaurant here. <laughs> oh, oh, shock top. No. Dos Equis. We're in a Dos Equis. Something you know. <laughs> but he's gonna say shock top. Pat's blue so ribbon. He must be on number three. Shock top. <laughs> he probably got him a nice little orange on there. He's ready to go. So McVeigh, we've got we've got uh, unbreakable career long records, or um, where will JJ Watt land and is Urban Meyer tone deaf? Which one do you want to? Take? I don't get that matter to me. Uh, Urban Meyer is tone deaf. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Top six guys want to hop out. Where will JJ Watt play. land, gentlemen? I think he's going to go to Pittsburgh just to play with his family, play with the brothers. But I heard someone say Zona today. I heard someone say Cleveland. Cleveland, Tennessee, Pittsburgh. Well, I heard, Tampa. I heard Tampa. Green Bay. I heard Tampa. Tampa. <laughs> I did hear Green Bay, too. 
I, I, I think I, that I the know. Chiefs could use a pass rusher. Yeah, they could. Great. They ain't got yeah. no money to pay anybody now, though. Well, he don't need to make money. Yeah. The dude ain't going to play for free. <laughs> I'm not saying he's got to play for free. I'm saying. I don't think he's going to play for the money. money. I think he's and going he's to play for, for a ring. To one ring. I say he's not going to take the league minimum. Uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm just that, saying. I mean, he may. I would, I would think he we may would, just to play. To play I would to, think Pittsburgh might be a attraction. Pittsburgh mm-hmm. is. I mean, I, I think that'd be Packers? neat to see him and his brother play. The Packers. Well, they he, said they weren't interested. Went to Wisconsin. So Who did Green Bay. Green Bay is not interested. This Seattle? is another Seattle's reason why Aaron Rodgers is going to leave in a couple years because <laughs> of that right there. Well, we're not interested. What? You're what? <laughs> I mean, you. Ha- if uh, I don't care what team you are, if someone like JJ Watt comes on the market, and yeah. you have to be at least interested. That's unrestricted least, free agent. At yeah, least has to huh. peak. Your interest. I some. think you at least have to call his agent. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. And if you're, if, if there's any of the 32 NFL teams that haven't called his agent and asked and inquired, then those people need to be fired. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee they need you, to be drug out in the street and beaten. If I'm JJ Watt, fired. if I'm JJ Watt, I'm going to call talk to Pampa Bay because I guarantee you Tom Brady's going for number eight next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what? just because he's that's well, he's, yeah, he's think about that defensive number eight. line. Tom Brady was not Shaq leaving. Mason, so that's what I'm Sue, saying is though is I think after number eight he may be done. So I, I think he's he's going to risk it all. Everything. Why is number eight going to be done? I don't I, think I, he's quitting until he loses it. I don't. I don't I think he's going to try to play longer than anybody else. I think he's going to try to play longer than Blanda. Uh I think he's going (laughs) to 46-plus. I I will have to say, I I didn't realize the dude could party, though. (laughs) (laughs) He sure sure can't pass that trophy, uh, can he? He 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 was was a cheat day. Did you see where the the daughter of the person who who made the trophy demanded that Tom Brady apologize Uh. publicly? Because he throw, threw the trophy, the Lombardi trophy. and she, he needs to make an apology to to her dead oh, dad yeah, and all the silversmiths yeah. that put time and effort in that trophy. And I'm going, for the love of everything holy, can we <laughs> not do anything that offends anybody? Everything not offends anymore. Anybody. Oh, it's everything not, offends not everybody. Everything. Yep. Everything. everything. I like the way you look. Like him. I don't like it. <laughs> like so I'm going to get you fired tomorrow. Would you shave your beard, <laughs> your bully booger? What you got bugger. there? <laughs> what's that? What's that? What's that thing on his face? It's yeah, like a lot I, I of gray. Want, it's, it's a lot it's, of gray. It offends me. Uh, <laughs> just like you know, falling down. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, we gotta fall I forward don't, first. Fall I don't forward. like all these comments. Fall this forward. offends me. Oh, Everything's especially the ones from KB. You know, <laughs> <laughs> quit commenting. Or <laughs> says wait, Kansas City. If, if no, he ain't going to Kansas. City. But he also says he's playing for a ring. Pittsburgh. He's going uh, to Pittsburgh. I already going Hammock to go says, Cleveland. Hammock says uh, Cleveland. Aaron Rodgers. You going to go play with Aaron Rodgers? Hey, hey, no. Mm. Hey, by the Lombardi. way, has anybody ever touched one of those Lombardi trophies? Guess who has? <sighs> who? Yeah. I who? have. Tom I Brady. Tom Brady. I have. <laughs> I have. Tom Brady's daughter. I've touched yeah. one of those Lombardi trophies. Those memes. You've seen the uh, the uh, meme about it. She's, she's held the Lombardi <laughs> trophy longer, more than the Dallas yeah. Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> Could you imagine Jerry Jones' face? Ke- Kevin Holly says Miller's face offends me. That, that oh, offends a lot of people. Got a face for radio. Wow, man. statement. I'm sorry. Last, it's last little maker. spot. Last little stop here. We're going to talk about it. Urban Meyer. Here, here it comes. No. Oh wait, well, yeah, we yeah, did. We, t- we talk about. Meyer. Let's talk about Urban Meyer toe deaf. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Wait, Urban thing. Meyer. Yeah, Urban he Meyer. hired a uh, strength coach from Iowa oh. who was dismissed or released for racial comments. Yeah, I saw oh. that. You're coming into a league that is predominantly uh, a lot of seven eight percent, seventy eight percent African American. I'm yeah. gonna have to say I don't no know if that's a that. really good idea. Yeah. And wait a minute, not only did he he sidestepped it whenever mm-hmm. they uh, they asked that question in a press conference, mm-hmm. he just like, oh, ain't that big a deal? Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, I think yeah, that's the difference between okay. going college coaches and, pr- and professional coaches. It's, yeah. just, it's night and day. That's why well, name a name a college coach that's had Jimmy success, Johnson. sustained success. Okay, one. Not them Cowboys. Switzer, maybe. Bill Walsh. Okay, out of how many coaches? <laughs> you know, what I'm, you know what I mean. Sure. Hang on, so, what, Pete yeah. Carroll. Yeah, yeah, I, was gonna, Carroll. I was going to say Pete Carroll too. Well, he got, he paid his players in yeah. both leagues. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Good His players him. took a pay cut when it they worked. went to the pros. It worked. <laughs> Easy, Calipari. It worked. Uh, I was it worked. Uh, hey, it hey you look like Derrick Rose. You want to take an SAT? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, oh. hey, 
When you're up three, foul. Foul. <laughs> Mario Chalmers. Oh. <laughs> oh, man, sorry. It's just okay. good stuff. I agree. Well, yeah. Ari said, Pete Carroll, Kevin Holly, you're a day late. And maybe a I mean, dollar on, short. He might be on delay. <laughs> Is he care. on delay, too? I've been <laughs> called delay, so I'm jumping on it. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's in, it's in poor taste. Yeah. I don't think you – there's plenty of other guys who are quality – yeah. Who, mm-hmm. and I, I, you're not you're not in a college setting. Mm-hmm. You're not the the Unitarian mm-hmm. authority mm-hmm. figure that you are in college when right. you're coaching pros. These are professionals. These are grown men. Mm-hmm. They're not young, you know, they're not, they're not kids. Oh, mm-hmm. they, they're like you know what? I don't have to do this. Right. I can hold out. I don't have to sign here. Mm-hmm. You want to make your place, you, your team, attracted to free agents. I don't think that's a good mm-hmm. good step in the right mm-hmm. direction. Mm-hmm. Agree. I, I really don't. He might be a great guy, and it could have been oh, out of poor taste. Right. There's plenty of people who are examples of that. Mm-hmm. But it, it it doesn't, especially if it was that fresh. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, to go from a college position, oh, well, now you, after you just got released mm-hmm. from their, you know. Firearms? No. Mm. Well, yeah, Ray, something. Ray, what would you, you do? Ray? <laughs> That's why you don't cross the streets. Don't cross the streets. Somebody tripped the fire alarm back there in the back. I think. Ray, yeah. I think it's a good time for a commercial. <laughs> Man, commercial. okay, we'll do that before we go to the commercial. Real quick, we'll, we're, we're going to leave this out for all of the folks. Real quick, <laughs> which career long record? is most unbreakable. Cal Ripken Jr.'s 2,632 straight games. Nolan Ryan's 5,700 strikeouts. Ricky Henderson's 1,406 stolen bases. Or Hank Aaron's 6,856 total bases. We're going to leave that up there. And uh, we will uh, jump out of here, and hopefully we don't have to go anywhere. You're watching the Coach's Box. We'll see you in a little bit. So hot! So hot! For fine Mexican cuisine, a family atmosphere, any place to watch your local sport teams. Come out to La Pachangas. Check out our four locations, Arnold, Herculaneum, Crystal City, and Bonfair. Come out to La Pachanga. And I'll say real quick, um, you know, I really admire what you guys do with this. I think everybody who's ever tuned into one of these, whether it's a Legion game, whether it's a high school baseball game, whether basketball, football, whatever it is, mm-hmm. um, I've heard nothing but tremendous feedback uh, about Livestream STL and what you guys do and the quality of production, things like that. I would really encourage anybody who's involved in athletics throughout the county uh, or really anywhere in the metro area, uh, anybody who's interested in sponsoring activities to get on board and get involved with this. I think it's added a ton to what we do here. It's added a ton to the program. Uh, you guys are a class act. And you're, you're committed to doing things the right way, and we really appreciate that. And we are back for our final round here. We threw out the little teaser. Which career-long record is most unbreakable? Kyle Ripken Jr.'s most games played without a break. Nolan Ryan's strikeouts. Ricky Henderson's stolen bases. Or Hank Aaron's total bases. As we bring things back here, and we'll, uh, I'll just, we'll just, uh, you know, maybe talk a little bit about all, all of the, all four of these real quick. And we are still dealing with the. Uh, the fire alarm that has gone off. It's the entire building here is not really actually uh, affecting us here. So we're just going to act like it's not even there, right? Hey, hmm. it's not getting hot in here, Blair, so you want to take off all your clothes. Okay. <laughs> I just did. Sure. <laughs> sure. And then as soon as I click Shirtless on Facebook, wonder. it'll pop <laughs> up. <laughs> you know, hey, look, there's another one. You know, it's like, it's like Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> you know. All right. So, I, I mean, these are here. all equally tough. It'll be this one. I think it's Cal Ripken. It's just simply because, just like in in basketball, load, you know, management. load management, and that's why. Oh, many the, cons- many the fire department. department. Yeah. Many consecutive games played. Yep. Yep. I would I would say that's the number one. 
Yeah, because I mm-hmm. agree. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just it's a long season. And, uh-huh. and Blair, are you on fire? <laughs> You're on fire, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Jewish guy. What? Cough, cough, Miller. I, what? Because I coughing over here? What's he talking about? Uh, anyway, oh, I, 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 but I think the next one is uh, Nolan Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because there's no pitcher. It's like winning 300 games is never going to happen nope. again. Nope. Not unless. Thanks to they, the six-man rotation. Not unless they lower the num- the minimum requirement of innings pitched for a win. Right. For a starting mm-hmm. pitcher. Right. Wins. And, and, and I, you know what? I look for them to maybe do that because there's a lot of incentives that are, in, that are tied up to players' contracts. Mm-hmm. And I know the, the, the pitching <laughs> wins, the decisions. Kevin Holly says Blair, Blair opted out. Now I got to on the side already. Uh, hey, you realize that Blair's great. gone, right? I know. Where did he go now? He opted he's, out. He's what Kevin sure. said. He's making oh. sure that. Oh, watch, watch. Hey, he's going to get the fireman oh, the, in here. The future mayor of Herculaneum. Hey, is, <laughs> hey mayor, we're on a show. <laughs> mayor Bear. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Mayor. I'll be right back. <laughs> mayor Bear. I mean, it's just. I mean, his chance are slim to none to win anyway. Wow. Man. <laughs> Is I mean, that a slogan? So I, would, I, mean, well, I hate to say what my chances are. They're Slim worse. to nil. Yeah. It's an Illinois education. Uh, wow. Dude, you're not the fire chief. You're not. I mean, <laughs> come on. What are you doing? Hey, it, it, you just run around. I, I, I you never seen a fire it's, truck before? There it is. It's off. <laughs> Did you I want to be a fireman? I said the future mayor. Did you mayor just out uh, there? Jeez. Uh, I, th- I think the other one that – if we're going in order, is yeah. going to be the stolen bases because no. they don't steal bases anymore. That's right. that's, no. I said that's yeah. one of it for sure. <laughs> I, I think the consecutive game played is that's right. that will never be right. hat broken. Yeah. But right. then the next one is probably mm-hmm. the stolen bases. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm going to say all three of the four except for total bases. I think yeah. could possibly total well, bases could be. No, uh, I don't know because nobody hits for average either. You got you got to get on base. Right. And guys mm-hmm. don't get on base. Mm-hmm. It's either a strikeout or a home run. Mm-hmm. So you're either going zero bases or four. And no. that's – yeah. I, I, don't, I don't see it. I, yeah. I wish if if go, there is one that's, that somebody could break, I think it is going to be total base. I, I think the other ones are unreachable. Yeah. How, how long do you think, it, how long do you think it's, it's going to take before baseball players go back to hitting the ball in play? Mm-hmm. I think that's – that, to me, I think that's the greater question here. How long before somebody goes, you know what? I, I think I'm just going to get on base. Well, it's not going to be them. It's not them. It, it's, it's not you. It's me. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the programs down because they will draft kids and they will say this kid has upside of maybe 30, 40 plus home runs, 100 plus RBIs. We will turn him into a power hitter because that's just the era that we're in well, right now mm-hmm. instead of it, it's going to take a fundamental shift just like right now we're starting to see more mobile quarterbacks in the NFL, it's going to take some type of cultural shift to where you have somebody that, that gets uh, the media attention that is the 300-plus average hitter. I mean, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know who, I don't know when, but, I mean, it's just ever since 98 with the home runs, with, you know, with McGuire and Sosa, it, it's been about home runs. It's been right. about – well. But it, the game is so wrapped up in analytics mm-hmm. that it. I mean, we saw the the mm-hmm. most prime example of how analytics went a little too far into the game, mm-hmm. and um, the Padres now are, you know, thanking mm-hmm. the Rays. Mm-hmm. But and by the way, the Alec, the guy who trains, mm-hmm. who's in the mm-hmm. Mets organization, right? He's a friend of Blake Snell. Oh, did I tell cool. you guys that? Yes. No, huh? You did. Oh, mm-hmm. about yeah. how, how how pissed off he was. Because he asked him, he texted him. He wouldn't answer his phone for four days. Yep. Blake Snell wouldn't? Blake Snell wouldn't after the World Series when he got yanked. Yep. And he finally he said, hey, man, sorry. I've just been that pissed. Mm-hmm. He said, I haven't talked to what's yeah. his name, the manager. Yeah. Nope. He talked to nobody. Yeah. So I would say that behind closed doors, he probably said, look, I, I can't be here. Mm-hmm. Trade me. But anyway, well, analytics, mm-hmm. too, too wrapped up in the game. Mm-hmm. And, the, you know, the spray I, charts and everything. It, how, if you ever watch major leaguers take batting practice, they can hit the ball anywhere they mm-hmm. want to on the field. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I go back to when Ichiro came over, and if anybody ever heard his stories about batting practice, he could put him in the, in the yeah. you know, upper deck, yep. you know, triple deck, whatever, but – it, in batting practice, but you know he's spraying the ball all over the field. I mean, he's kind of doing that slap softball 
Yep. But Derek Jeter, Derek Jeter has mm-hmm. 3,000 hits, mm-hmm. and I don't know, how, over half of them mm-hmm. were probably opposite. Mm-hmm. Opposite, yeah, agreed. Opposite, and everybody's like, well, Jeter suck, whatever. He had 3,200 hits. Mm-hmm. Didn't Jeter didn't suck. He's one of the best shorts. He said he was but, overrated. Oh, mm-hmm. bull crap. He's got rings. You can't win He's that many the rings. Gold gloves. You can't, no, you can't. He's, He's got, got hits. Well, He's Pete, got some interesting stories, too, old Jeter. I about bet he being does. the bachelor. You heard his stories about the baseball. Here's a story you can tell your history sports class oh when you boy. do baseball. Oh, back. boy. Is right. it a family right. show story? It is. Okay. It is. It's a family show. So, ba- uh, Jeter, known for being a bachelor, right? So, the next day of any guests that he had come over to spend the night, he would always leave them a signed Derek Jeter baseball. Okay? Here you go, right? <laughs> Okay, here, it gets better. Oh, wow. It gets, it gets is, better. It awesome. gets better. It gets better, right? I want to see There was a – There was a box after hours. There was, there was a companion that came over and said – A companion. Yeah, yeah that came the over door, and said – The door – the window was open. <laughs> right? Hey. That came over. Listen, that came Sliding over and said – Sliding door was open. He, he, did the, he did the signature. You know, he signed baseball, and she said, thanks, I already have one. Oh. oh. He forgot. <laughs> oh. Well, when you've been around the block and back in New York, it's a big city. It's a big town. Yeah. It's the big, big apple. S- the big city. Wow. There you go. It's Barney Stinson. Oh, my goodness. Dude, this story brought to you by Zach McVay. <laughs> hey, there you McVay go. McVay After Hours. <laughs> Sponsored by Zima. Oh, God. The official drink of Zach's After oh, Hours. Geez. I thought that was with Blair's yeah. After Hours. Oh, uh, so, Kevin asks, do we think anybody will ever hit 1,000 career home runs? No. No, no way. No. Nope. Not nope. the way the game's changing. No. Nope. Not unless they keep bringing the fences in. Well... I see that happening. Yeah, I, I totally see that. My happening. My gosh, what more can you do? They were already talking about screwing with the ball this year. They and they have. They have. They're Sports Illustrated it. came out with an issue. They're that, dead that the ball a little bit. Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah. Well, I don't know why would they? I mean, that's that's what sells tickets. But yeah, how the baseball is Steroids different. Does. <laughs> hey, bring it. Steroids and baseball. <laughs> Go get him, Zach. Hey, bring them back. Bring it. Bring them back. Bring, bring them back. Them back. <laughs> I, I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm just. There was always a fascination about baseball records when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. obviously the, the chase of, of, of Maris mm-hmm. in, in the home run record and uh, guys trying to, to, to break that. Mm-hmm. But to me, there's, there's – I almost sound cheesy when I say there's a very There's something very poetic about watching mm-hmm. a guy who can hit one to the opposite field, advance a runner, mm-hmm. and, you know, sack fly uh, – Mm-hmm. Even watching a suicide squeeze, mm-hmm. those are the things that, to me, they're 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 parts of the game that mm-hmm. I feel like you just every year is a little bit a little bit more taken away. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, I get having the designated hitter. Mm-hmm. I get it. There's so much an investment wrapped up in pitching. Well, how terrible would it be? I mean, not for me as a Cardinals fan, but for Trevor Bauer, who's mm-hmm. making forty three million a year, mm-hmm. to tear his Achilles like Adam Wainwright did mm-hmm. on, you know, while he's in the right. batting box, right? I get it, but at the same time, there are certain parts of the game that we're losing that I enjoyed watching as a kid. Right. Watching a guy go nine innings, mm-hmm. and er, I, I watched Kerry Wood strike out 20. Mm-hmm. I'm not a Cubs fan. I liked right. Kerry Wood. Mm-hmm. I thought that was amazing, mm-hmm. and that was in 1998. I was right. in eighth grade. Was it 20 I was, or 21? Or? He had 20, I it think. Was 20. Yeah, it was 20. He had 20, yeah, because Clemens had 21. Yeah, it was Clemens. Oh, yeah, Royce. And, yeah, mm-hmm. No, that was before Royce. Yeah, yeah. No, I was just trying. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, I mean those are those are things that you watch. You're like, wow, that's minutes. just a, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. And I I watched Randy Johnson when mm-hmm. when uh, Seattle traded him to Houston mm-hmm. in the middle of the year before he went to Arizona, mm-hmm. and I got a chance to go watch the Cardinals at, at Bush Stadium play mm-hmm. the Astros. Mm-hmm. When he came to the Astros that year, he was eleven and one. He was literally unhittable. Mm-hmm. He coming from the American League, he's like, "Oh God, these guys can't hit." Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah. It was it was strikeout city. He probably had fourteen strikeouts mm-hmm. in that game. Mm-hmm. And I'm just I'm a kid. I'm going, "Oh my God, this is mm-hmm. amazing." But just the other little, I mean, just the little parts of the game that just I feel like a little bit more, a little bit more. So you don't want the DH? No, well, I want the DH. Oh, what? I just want people to bunt when you got a runner on I, second I, base I think with less what? than two outs. With less than two outs. If there's no outs and you got a runner on second, you need a run. Yeah. Not get the guy over. Yes. Hit it to the opposite field. I'm right-handed. Right. Hit it to the opposite field. Mm-hmm. Right. At bunt. Mm-hmm. Why not? Put the ball mm-hmm. in play. Mm-hmm. Lay it down on the third baseline. Hit and run. Yeah. Bunt and run. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, real squeeze play. Mm-hmm. You don't see that a lot. No, well, it's, it's and, one of one series don't think for the it's Cardinals. Being taught, squeeze? and that's the thing. That's you go true. from the top down to the minor leagues. I don't think it's taught. But Ooh. how 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 much more productive would the Cardinals lineup even mm-hmm. this coming year mm-hmm. be if you had two guys ahead of Goldie and mm-hmm. and Arenado mm-hmm. who could get on base, yeah. who could consistently hit three hundred and get on base? Mm-hmm. Their OPS is high. Mm-hmm. Because they can get on base. Right. They're not hitting 250. Didn't we let one of them guys go that could get on base? <laughs> Some guy named Gold, Gold Glove. Glove. Yeah, Gold Glove. Gold Glove. What Wong hit last year, though? 260? That was one of his better years. Or what he hit? Yeah. Was, I bet he was around 280. Was he 280 last year? I bet it was his one of his better years. His OPS was really good, I thought. Yeah. 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 But that's what's sad in our day and age when a leadoff hitter is hitting 280, you know, and, and that's a leadoff tough. hitter was 340. <laughs> yeah, a Tony Gwynn. Yeah. I mean, come on no, now. Tony, don't, don't even compare any of these clowns <laughs> to Tony Gwynn. <laughs> oh, oh wait, my, yeah, wait, you get no uh, Tony Gwynn. No, oh, no he's awesome. What Juan Pierre uh-huh. was a better leadoff hitter than uh, anybody. Juan, Juan, Juan Pierre. I know. I okay, know. no, everybody's like, what? Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That guy. <laughs> okay. I mean, hell, Carl Crawford was better. Oh yeah. my. Fernando yeah. Vina. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. So. Fernando Vina. What, what, you trying to look up what Wong's stats were? Yeah. Dude, go to Sports Reference. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> While you're doing that, can we? You want to jump over to Cranium Cup trivia? Yeah, let's, let's get it. going. Let's go to trivia. I'll let this put this Here, over he, there by Zach. All right. Two six, not get it again. Zach is our defending champion. Average. What was his OPS? Two sixty five. I said two sixty, didn't I? <clears throat> yeah, I think I said. And before we get we finish it up, I want to. I want to <coughs> throw it on Zach here. Mm. And give us give one us your, last pose. Your final speech yeah. here, real quick. Final or, speech, like he's dying forever. He'll never get it again. <laughs> what is the deal, yeah, guys? Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> What's OPS? But at least wow. put it up to you and say, "I'd like to thank the Academy." Right? Yeah. He's yeah. only he's Point only won it. Seven, he's only won it two out of the three weeks on <laughs> fault. Right. <laughs> on default. Not bad. Oh, there it is. Not great. I'm just glad well, Jarvis didn't pay attention. Seven, eight, like, four, seven. He didn't pay attention at all. That's why he's been out of it today. I'm at out. Right. Yeah. We're, we're, <laughs> looking <laughs> we're looking up Gold Wong. We're looking up Gold Wong. He's looking up Gold Wong. Stats, man. Stats. stats. All right. So, a, B, C, and D. Oh, Not one. Right. First goal. question. I, I would like the pitchers to get a little more batting practice and a little more bunting practice. That I would agree. Be. No, I want DH. I want the DH. Well, I do too, but that's not going to happen. happen. Year, so. I want the DH, and I want Pools to come back yep. for one more year to yep. be the DH. Yep. He'll happen. It'll happen. I, I don't I'll like the three pitchers, three batter and minimum. And then after Pujols like retires, that. it can go back, right? No, he'll be retired. Him and Molina and Wainwright are all going to retire mm-hmm. in the same year. Mm-hmm. Hey. Get him statues. As Cardinals? Boom, boom, boom. No way. That? Next year is the last year for all three of them. Pujols is not coming back to St. Louis. One year. Well, he ain't gonna, he ain't he'll go, sign a one-day yeah, contract. I bet you he doesn't. Well, Why he wouldn't he? he? I bet you he doesn't. Well, because he's under He's under contract with the Angels. like he's 50s. Yep. Yeah, he's yep. next year. Unless right. they, unless they, no, say, they're not going to sign him. They're not signing him after this year. And he's no, done with that. no, he's, he's got, got that. but he's got obligations. He's got, he's got other stuff that's in his but, lace in his contract. Yeah, but yeah. when he's done playing, I it think. doesn't matter. He said he's he said yesterday back. that he oh. has entertained it with the Angels about going back to St. Louis for one year, where he started his whole career. So he, he can get. The, so I he, buy a ticket. He can get a. Standing ovation at every I'd go. single at yeah. bat. Uh, yeah. And you the Cardinals know would. sell tickets. Yeah. Yep. I would go. Well, if I'm him, I would because then there's like, listen, I want some incentive. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, the wallet, the get on the phone. He wants some of his <laughs> D wallet. That's what he wants. Since you didn't pay me when I was here. <laughs> when I get won all now. those awards. Right. Yeah. Now that I'm all right, here we go. down. Cranium Cup trivia. Question number one. We, this is hockey. He's pushing us out the door <laughs> here, folks. Wow, look at him. He's like, <laughs> windows open. Hockey. Hockey. Okay. What player set an NHL record in 1976 with 10 points in the one year game? year I was freaking born. 76. <laughs> with what? 10 points in one game. 10 points. So points Here are goes. goals Here and goes. assists. Yes, okay. goals, yes. All right. Do you know? Answers. Oh. Daryl Sittler, S-I-T-T-L-E-R, Sittler. Bobby Clark. Phil Esposito. Or Wayne Gretzky. Set what player set an NHL record in 1976 with 10 points in one game? I don't know. Sittler, Clark, Esposito, Gretzky. Is Esposito even a hockey player? <laughs> Didn't we already have this one? Nope. I don't know. Who knows? Wrong. No, I'm not. Oh. He asked, he asked me if we've ever had this question. I, I know, know we have. I don't have a clue. I don't either. Wait for, wait for uh, Jarvis. All right. All but me. The answer is... 
Daryl Sittler, hmm. A. Guess who got that right? Wow. Hey. How about that? <coughs> How about that? It, was between was him and, it was between him and Esposito. I don't have a client. No clue. I mean, you know, McVay over didn't even know Esposito was even playing. I don't playing, know who that is. You know. <laughs> well, when he said that, I, I said, I'm picking that one. Rizzuto? Yeah, Rizzuto. What is that, Rizzuto? Rizzuto yeah. on the point. <laughs> um, uh, we talked a little bit about. Uh, oh, God. We're listening. If he just wants Jesus. the cure, if he just wants to have the cup here, Chris. Um, <laughs> when you we have to give a prologue before the question. Forfeit, I win. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just, just read the question. I'm just waiting for you guys to stop the banter. That's great. Okay, we, here we go. We don't ever do that. New York Never. Yankees trivia. New York Yankees Yanks. trivia. Mm. Let me find it here. Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> it's your favorite little rascal. <laughs> Alfalfa <laughs> or Spanky? <laughs> oh, Lordy. <laughs> wow. <sighs> <clears throat> I know, Jarvis. I here you know. go. I here know. you go. This is a good question. Loading. <laughs> Which Yankee pitched the only perfect game in World Series history? Which Yankee pitched the only perfect game in in World Series history, sounds like I, I feel like I'm hearing like a like Morse code. It's music. <laughs> okay, okay. Adderall. It's the <laughs> answers. <laughs> it's the answers. That's why Blair <laughs> Tini <Tiena> knows <laughs> <the> Morse <laughs> code. That's right. <laughs> they're, being, they're being punched in right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> answers. Uh, Andy Pettit. Mm. <laughs> David Cohn. Mm. Don Larson. Or Roger Clemens. What is it now? Which Yankee pitched the only perfect game in World Series history? <laughs> Pettit, Cone, Larson, Clemens. Mm. Where'd you put Miller? <laughs> Nunya. I don't know how to spell his name, but yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> no, it is not Pettit. It. <laughs> wow, okay. The answer is Don Larson no, in 1956, mm. game five. Pitched 97 pitches. So Didn't know that one. Blair, got, or Blair did not get that right. I did. Miller did. Miller. So Miller and Blair Dang, are tied at really one. wanting Blair to win. I was wow. going to say, it's everything pre-1980s. I hate all this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <clears throat> the next what one's going to be eSports trivia. No. I'm not old. <clears throat> I'm the youngest one here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That sucks, doesn't it? True statement. Wow. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> Boxing trivia. Boxing. Wow. Here we go. Oscar what is the fastest knockout ever recorded in a fight? Oh, shoot. But like time-wise? Time-wise. Okay. Fastest. Re- fastest. Yeah, okay. happened. There it is. Answers. 11 seconds, 5 seconds, 17 seconds, or 23 seconds. What is the fastest knockout ever recorded in a title fight? 11, 5, 17, 23. Might be. Somebody knows this. Come on. Somebody's going to get it. Come on. So that means me and you didn't get Someone's it. Someone's going to get it. The answer is 11. So we got hey. three with 11. And Blair, you're I'm behind. The out. So. so you're not. Well, you three are tied. And now we've got. What? No, he's got two. Got two. I know, but he's two. got two. But you, everybody else got one. Oh. Yeah. It's there. You've uh-huh. got two? <clears throat> Only he's got two. Yeah. yeah. Well, well he needs a mess. Let's go, baby. Let's bring the cup home. Snow day. We need to make back sure we in don't snow cup. Back in Ot 2 <laughs> with harness racing, <laughs> what were the trotters of New York City? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. 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 <laughs> Jeez. If wow. you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? Stevie Wonder. <laughs> I know I would. I know I would. <laughs> <laughs> Smother myself with a relish. <laughs> 
Jarvis comes in. Comes in. Comes in. What do we got around ourselves? So you know, so I'm just sitting yeah. here. He doesn't know it. Do you <laughs> please tell me you know that reference? <laughs> no, it's I don't. Will Ferrell is Harry Carey. Harry Carey. Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, that's great. I don't remember what happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah. How'd I get uh, here? Uh, yeah. Who's taking me home? Terrell is. I'm, dri- are I'm you? driving home. <laughs> I'm taking myself home. Uh, Country road. <laughs> Take me <laughs> home. I got to breathe. <laughs> to the place. <laughs> so moon made a, so moon made a spare ribs. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I know I would. <laughs> oh, my God. If you, you go watch that. <laughs> Under, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's four. great. <laughs> Question number four. I just want to get through this crappy oh trivia. <laughs> I know. I'm just trying to keep the cl- cup as long as I can. <coughs> I'm trying to keep the clutch as long as I can. <laughs> keep the cup. <laughs> Question number four, basketball. Well, Specifically, this is one we won't Chicago get. Bulls mm. oh. basketball. Oh. We've had one of Jordan. <laughs> this is about Jordan. Oh, oh shoot. Here's Shocking. a question. Listen carefully. How many scoring titles? We've had this one. Had this one. Yep. Which player was it? Ten? Lo- Wasn't it ten or more than that? Mm. It was double digits. Okay. We did have a score. I don't know. We had that one. We had yeah, that one though. Next question. Okay, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Still same. Chicago Bulls. Okay. Who holds the franchise single season record for assists mm. in Chicago's Bulls history? Mm. Single season. Single season record for assists. Norm Van Leer. <laughs> Got him. That's right. Hey. (laughs) Enos Watley. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Michael Jordan. JJ. Uh, Or Guy Rogers. (laughs) If you get this right, Miller, who holds the franchise record for (coughs) single season assists? Audience, what would you like me to put? A, B, C, or D? <laughs> assist? Ray, what do they say? Since Van we're talking Lear, about assist. Watley, Jordan, Rogers. Who knows? For how many assists in a what? Single, a single season? season? Yeah, a single season. Know. Let's do this. For Let's just do this. Whatever answer he puts, everybody put their own one. What are you Different. putting? Because we can't ah, put the. It. What are you putting? I can't. We can't have your same answer. What do you got? Da, da, oh. da, 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 da. Dang it. Jarvis. No, I guess the so. answer is Guy Rogers, which is nobody got that one right. <laughs> I put MJ. Ooh, that means he won. <sighs> that means I won. Dun. Bring that son of a buck over here. Oh, well, and it's I like. Hold on, hold on. Like what did you say about Academy? the Super Bowl? What did you say about Super Bowl? Here, you want me to toss it? Rigged. It's rigged. rigged. It's you, want, rigged. you want me to toss it? <laughs> do you think my mom would want an apology if I toss this? <laughs> yes, there it give is. her an apology. Uh, oh, man, it's nice to finally have this thing back. Yep. Yep, well. McVeigh, yeah. seriously, did you lick it? I mean, McVeigh no, tried to keep it all along. What's that smell? Oh, gosh. <laughs> winning. Zima. It smells Zima. like winning. Zima. Smells like, it's like Zima. some sour, terrible oh, alcohol. Oh, gosh. Zima. Yep, that does. Oh, that's not like winning. Yeah. Weddings. Get that over here. It needs to be clean. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm coming up with trivia questions next week. That wouldn't be fair if you sure gave would. them and then had to answer them. <laughs> da, da, well, how do you think? Hey, Jarvis, why don't you come up with them and yeah. don't forget them? <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Can't remember what you did he can, today. Hey, wow. he can flip it and we'll watch a video Whoa. of him do it. We can be like, I'm awesome. not doing all that. <laughs> it's, it's some Jeopardy. Could do uh, a pre-recorded Jeopardy. And the show has reached a new <laughs> low. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Cage returns with eight dollars. Wow! <laughs> All right, boys, let's wrap it up here. We wrapping. Um, wh- where's everybody at this week? Um, <laughs> at well, home. At uh, home. <laughs> virtual day tomorrow for yeah. St. Pius the Tenth High School. Uh, uh, Blair, tomorrow night, I'm at Oakville High we're School. At, we are at. And so was I. So we're having school tomorrow. Are yes, you? Are you really? Man, I am at Mr. Valley Pius. Park tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that, that, well, there will be no, no fans. No fans. No fans. My JV and varsity will have to be back in the room while the other team plays. It's Are a, you serious? Inter- it's the yeah. craziest thing ever. You gotta, I, I'll send you the list. Man. Hey, did Sam Page lighten that up? He did today. Yeah, that was good for him. I'm glad he did yeah. that. I'm curious to see what tomorrow brings. There's some There's some more things coming open tomorrow, I believe, from what really? I gather. Yeah. yeah. Wow, mm-hmm. how about that? Like that you can have a – well, never mind. We'll 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 table that for another day. You can increase fans, hopefully. Yeah. 
There you go. All right. There you go. That's it. Catch us tomorrow night. <laughs> live stream STL over at uh, Oakville High School. We will be covering the Oakville um, Herculaneum girls game. And then Friday we'll also be pending weather, making sure that there's no weather issues. There uh, shouldn't be any weather issues. I it's hope not. Get warm. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> we'll be over 50, at DeSoto. over the weekend, right? And we'll be over at DeSoto High School. It's probably going to rain. Catch the last, we'll catch the last uh, boys uh, conference game between DeSoto and Windsor. That's for and the conference title. DeSoto wins. They went. They they co uh, tie yes. with the with Festus for co the conference tie. title. So there you go. Code and tie. There it is. All right, folks. Yeah. You can watch the coaches box. We will see you again probably well, next week. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm out. Not Wednesday. Maybe Thursday. Tuesday. No. We're playing. Hopefully. Is it a day that ends in yeah. Y? It'll be at a day that ends in Y. We'll catch that up. <laughs> One day. You watch the coach's box. We'll see you we next week. We will be sometime. here next week. <laughs> be there. One day. Yeah.